The thing is, I seem to have a gene uh, that I am a, a, a dealer, a wheeler, dealer, hunter, collector. My father used to collect antiques and do pots and dig in the ground for archaeological treasures and, and all those things. And somehow I seem to have inherited it. After school, I knew I only knew what I didn't want. I didn't want to, and that was go to university, study something, make a career, get a job, get married, etc. I traveled around the world, and after after some years, I was living in a flat together with some friends, and one of them had uh, was a die-hard collector. I always had records. I always bought music, the music I liked. But I was never a collector in the sense of, oh, I need to have the original pressing of this because it sounds better. And if it's an American band, I need to have the first American pressing. If it's a German band, the first German pressing is the best. And I'm going to compare the different ones. Uh, I was never into that, but he was. So he said, why don't we get together? And you know about flea markets. I had done some antiques and everything in the in the eighties already. Why don't we get together and start doing records? You know the good flea markets where to sell. I know about records. I mean, the real what label, etc. So we did, and we just bought uh, four hundred records from a from a lady who didn't want their records anymore, and we started setting up at the flea market, and that's how it started. And uh, we had to split up after two years because we got differences where we wanted to go, etc. It's, it's always like that in a record business. I always try to find some sort of partners or people I like to work with and uh, somehow it never works out because I think it's me also. I think we're all too much individual. And uh, anyway, so I did flea markets. I started going to the uh, to the states to buy records. I go there still every once or twice a year, and uh, I set up a sort of a regular flea market appearance every month. On the last Sunday, I would be in Dortmund, and on the second Sunday, I would be in Düsseldorf or etc. And then one day, I got the offer to take over this shop that was in. Uh, 206 and um, and I didn't know what is what's going to happen is this is this a good location is this gonna work out and but I did it and from the very first or second day people started peering in and uh, it worked from then on it has changed it has changed even when I started I started selling, buying and selling records 1994. That was the start of my flea market career. Um, everybody was talking, ah, nobody wants records anymore, but still there were collectors around. And, uh, and then, I don't know when it was around, the turn of the century or turn of the millennium, oh, yeah, CDs are not that good and they're gonna waste and sound is better of vinyl. And for more than 10, 15 years, everybody's telling me, well, vinyl is really coming back, isn't it? I said, well, it's never gone away. It has always been there. What is changing is, according to me, the people, the, the 60s, people are 60s, 70s, 80s now, and who used to buy Fats Domino or the absolutely very first 1A pressing of Elvis and looking at the at the the, the run out groove etc and paying 300 bucks for a, an Elvis record they are dying away or have died away already and um, the young kids are coming and and they start buying the music they are, have not grown up with they start buying Led Zeppelin and Pink Floyd, you know that. Everybody wants Led Zeppelin and Pink Floyd. And but you also sell Alan Parsons and Supertramp and Tracy Chapman and Dire Straits. 
record I left at the flea market 10-15 years ago. So basically every generation tries to buy back the music it grew up with when you were in puberty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because that's, that's when the emotions come. That's when you, your emotions are very strong through your hormones and they get linked with some musical experience. Whether it's punk or hip hop or Bob Dylan or whatever you, you grow up with. Mm. I turned 60 last year and I tell you it is a turn. Your body is not really working less but uh, there is nothing else I'd rather like to do. Uh, if I don't like what I'm doing anymore I will stop, I will quit. But so far I still liked it.